Nice headshot, as you can see. Just got him just past sunset now. Um, getting a bit dark, um, but yeah, happy with him. Came out, a couple of them. I'd say uh, we're about a 20 meters away, trusty uh, Norvinko 22, straight in his head. As you can see, that eye is popped out. He's out for the count. Uh, what I'm going to do, uh, because I want to show you guys how to clean the rabbit, so I'm going to pop him in the esky hole like he is now. I'm going to take him back a lot far from where I'm staying, and I'm going to clean him over there. All right, guys. So um, I shot this rabbit, and honestly, uh, it was only I'd say maybe around half an hour ago. So here's our rabbit. I just want to show you, uh, as you can see, it was headshot. You can see over there, it was headshot. Um, uh, I'm going to clean it, I'm going to gut it, and I'm going to show you how quick and how easy it is to clean a, a rabbit. Hopefully it will go smoothly. Then I'm going to show you how I check for it as well. Check to see if there's any um, anything wrong with it. Then afterwards, later on, maybe tomorrow, uh, I'm gonna, I'll have a look what I want to make out of it. So here it goes. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually time myself and see how quick I can clean this rabbit. Yes. Okay. So first things first, I'm going to take up a little bit of skin over here. That's how I do it. Then all you have to do from that point you just rip it open like, like so. We have it. Okay. And one thing I forgot to show you here is that you have to make the bunny wee. Take out all his wee. He's got a lot of wee in him. Take out all that wee. Yeah, all the way is gone. Now I can continue. Okay. See? Straight over here. Take up, there's one leg out, comes off like a nice glove, a little bit harder than a glove. And then I'm going to take this other part out. See over there? There we go. This other part out. That's most of the skinning done. You put all the way down. Down to over here. You come over here, same thing with the front legs, kind of pop them out. There we go. Expose those front legs and pop them out. There's one leg and Here is the other leg, where is the other leg, here we go, we got the other leg, the other leg will come out, like so, alright, then you can pull that down, normally what I do, is pull that, and I really don't want any of that. So I'm just going to take my knife, snap that, twist. And it should come straight off. There we go. That's it. Uh, we've taken off the skin. What we are left with now is so obviously we have to 
Karim. We have the mitts on still. We can just chop them off. They come off quite easy. Just wrap them off. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Then I'm going to cut him and uh, I'll show you how I'm going to clean him. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I have my plus cleaver with me. And you can just go ahead and you can uh, chop the legs off. Come on, quite easy. Quite easy like that. Okay, there we have it. That's the mitts out. Now, now what I want to do, I want to start to cut the animal. This is the the part which you have to be absolutely careful. You don't want to rupture rupture any of the gut area. Otherwise, the animal won't be any good. Uh, or, or at the very least, you're gonna taint all your meat. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead. That's all the guts. They come out pretty easy. This part here is tricky, you should make sure that none of the dung falls on the actual meat, so the dung will go straight down over there. Go ahead, severe that, cut that. I'm going to go ahead, pull out that tail, make sure. part over there. Okay, there then what you have up over here is that you have all the all the innards so I'm going to take that down as well and we'll have we'll examine that uh, so normally what you want to have a look you want to have a look at the kidneys if they're fine just visually examine them have a look at them you can even cut them open if you want see that there's no lesions or anything see how nice and healthy that is we don't want to, we're not going to actually um, eat any of the innards, but you can just see how healthy that animal is. And then up up over here is a diaphragm. So you can just uh, penetrate that diaphragm and you'll have your lungs and your heart in there. Just going to take that out quickly. Lungs and heart, heart looks all good, it looks all fine. And then uh, that's it, we have it over there, what I'm going to do, alright guys, so there you have it, that was all done in in about seven and a half minutes, uh, honestly if I wanted to, I think, I think when I do it out in the bush it takes a little bit less, maybe around five minutes, uh, when I hold it up in one hand, I can actually do it with uh, two hands holding it up, uh, it's really really easy, and if you look at that, uh, because it was shot in the head so we've got all the meat like nothing of it is wasted there's no marks or anything like that it's a beautiful piece of meat uh, shot as i said well now it must be only about uh still under an hour away uh and and we're gonna i'm gonna marinate him uh and pop him in the fridge and i'm gonna cook him up tomorrow see you then